you know, it's always good to have a full fight camp and uh, just be as, as prepared as possible. You know, I'm uh, overall, I'm, you know, of course happy with the win, but I really feel like I can do a lot more. I haven't seen the fight yet, but I felt like I could have done a lot more. I felt like I was a little hesitant to pull the trigger sometimes. You know, I wanted to kind of feint or jab, throw something. I knew he was going to come back hard and then make him, I would counter with a takedown or counter strikes, and I would make him miss, but really wasn't holding the range where I was in counter striking distance, kind of back too far away and then just make him miss. But, you know, that, that's not being offensive either, and I, I would like to be more offensive. And uh, I'm happy, but I definitely think I can do a lot better. So, Knowing his grappling prowess, was that part of the process maybe, you think, about what made you hesitant? Um, well, potentially. I mean, um, you know, I, I think of myself as a good grappler as well. You know, I figured uh, whoever was on top on the ground had the advantage. It wasn't like if we go to the ground, he has the advantage, or I do. It's like I think whoever was in top position, I think we're both better top players than bottom players. So uh, whoever was in top would have, would have had the advantage. And I, and I was confident in my wrestling. Um, you know, I think he's a very good wrestler, but I really felt from the start that I utilize my wrestling better in, in MMA than he does as far as, like, shooting off of punches and baiting it with strikes and stuff like that. So, um, you know, and the time he got me on my back in the third round, it wasn't actually a takedown. Like, uh, I think I tried to throw a knee, and he kicked me under my leg, which knocked me off my feet. And then, uh, you know, he was on top, and he did a good job controlling me. I wanted to make sure I didn't give him my, give him my back because I knew he's very good finishing with rear naked chokes. He's done it a bunch of times, so I was not going to give him my back, even if I had to stay on my, my back the rest of the round. So, When, when you did get him uh, on his back early, he was working those up kicks pretty fairly fiercely, and then you seemed to back away from them later in the fight. Did, did any of those catch you? Did you get hurt by any of those early on? Well, and it didn't, he didn't hurt me with it, but, uh, you know, yeah, of course, you got to be cautious with those. Uh, I was trying to control his feet past the punch or get in, but he did a good job keeping me away. Uh, not only with the up kicks, but he was working like a daily heave guard, hooking my foot for a potential sweep, and uh, so, you know, I have to be cautious with that too. And I wanted to dive into his guard, but, he, you know, very good guard, kept me in half, attacked for that Kimura every time I got to half guard, so... Uh, it was tough. I think we kind of evened each other out there on the ground a little bit. So You're in a division now where it doesn't necessarily take that many wins in a row to, to get right up there to a title shot. I know you said you were a little disappointed in your performance, but you know how are you, how are you feeling looking forward? It's early in the year, and, and you can string together uh, maybe even just one more. You could be looking at, at a shot. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, like I said, I think uh, there's a lot of talent in the flyweight division, but there's not necessarily a – like. Uh, distinct pecking order where it's like this, this guy earns the title shot much much more than this guy so uh, it's kind of wide open um, you know uh, Demetrius is, is the king right now he's beating the top couple guys so whoever they, they put in next now if, if they give me the opportunity I'd be happy to take it but I'm definitely not going to start calling them out or anything like that so just whoever they put in front of me try to keep working my way towards that that is my goal but you know, I think I, I have a lot of work to do so Stylistically, what gives you the biggest advantage in this weight class? Um, I think it's maybe just a combination of uh, of my my speed. I think I'm I'm a fa I'm maybe not the fastest, but I'm up there, and uh, you know I think I'm strong for the weight class. I think I'm skilled in every area, and I think maybe you know maybe besides Jorgensen, have some of the best wrestling credentials. Not that that means anything, you know, but um, I don't know. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> so there's nobody after this fight that you have your eye on as far as uh, next next fight. I fight someone who's in the top ten and work my way, uh, you know, up the ranks. But I'm not, no, no no specifics. How quickly do you want to get back in there? Um, it's really up up to UFC. I honestly would like a little bit of time off. Uh, you know, I fought at the end of November, the middle of December, now February. I kind of been in training camp like 25 the last 28 weeks or something. So. Uh, it's definitely taking a toll. I would like to have a little bit of relaxation time before I really get back into camp. So uh, maybe like a month off and then maybe like a two-month camp. Maybe so well, three months from now, whatever. So a lot of guys like that. They say they like to be constantly going and going and going, and you seem to at least have a grasp on, on what works best for you. Well, I, the more often I fight, I do feel like are you just like fighting so often you keep that – comfortability you know some of the most comfortable times I've ever been in the cage was uh, in the Bellator tournament when I was fighting every three weeks and then the last couple of fights you know they were all pretty s closely strung together and uh, you know it's just kind of feeling of you're used to it so I don't like to take too much time off but at the same time 
you need to relax a little. My body's definitely feeling it from, from three training camps in a row, so well, two, and, two and a half. <laughs> so two in a week. <laughs> Good. Thank you, guys. Thank you,